Hey, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk about powders. I want to talk about the different powders that I have and I want to talk about the difference between a setting powder, finishing powder, do you need to use it? And we're going to talk about all that. Okay, I've had so many of you guys asking me. I know it can be confusing and I'm also going to talk about do you need to wear a powder? We're going to talk about all that in today's video. Do you need to wear, use a powder and what the difference? So first, let's talk about the difference. So a setting powder is going to set your makeup. When would you use a setting powder? You would apply it after you apply your foundation. You want to be careful when you're applying it, though, because you don't want to disturb your foundation. So normally what I do is I use a brush, a fluffy brush like this one right here. This is from Ruffer. This is the brush number 25. So that's what I would use. This is what I would use to apply my setting powder. But what you can, what I do is I will take it and I will kind of tap it on. I'll just do this because I, I need to blot myself, even though I'm not putting any more on. Um, I don't like what I put on today all over. I'm going to talk about that. But what you want to do is just kind of apply it like that and then you can go ahead and buff it in. So before you put your blush on and everything, you want to set your foundation. Setting it is so, it, you know, the foundation is going to be slightly damp. So the powder is going to absorb some of that. So it kind of mattifies it a little bit. If you have dry skin, I don't think you have to use a setting powder. There's one that I do not have that I would recommend if you do have dry skin because I think you're going to really like it. I tested it out and it did not work on me because it made my skin really oily. And that is the Biteri Hyaluronic Powder. That stuff is amazing. But it's just too... It made my face really oily. I still have quite a shine to my face. And I put a powder on. I'm going to talk about the one that I put on because I did use the setting powder today. But I, I wouldn't recommend it for setting more of a finishing. Now... If you are going to use cream products or liquid products, you're going to want to put that on before you apply your powder, in my opinion. Because once you apply that powder, when you put that on, it may get a little bit, it just may not, it might not play well. If you are using, now when it comes, and again, if you have dry skin, you don't even have to set your foundation. You don't have to use it at all. If you feel like, if you feel like putting a powder on is just going to emphasize any dryness, and then don't use a powder. You don't have to use a powder, in my opinion. I would not recommend it because it's just going to make your skin look drier, so what's the point of it? I have to do it because I have oily skin, so I have to do it. Otherwise, my makeup would just melt off my face. Finishing powder is different. A finishing powder, and again, I wouldn't recommend it if you have really dry skin. I wouldn't even use a finishing powder. But a finishing powder is going to be very, very um, finely, finely, finely milled. It, it is going to create a... I'm going to put some on. But you, you would use something like this. This is one of them. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury, okay? What it's going to do is just going to create a really soft look. So... Do you see how that, see how that just filtered it out? I know it took the shine down, but it filtered it out. That is what I like about this powder. It is just finely milled, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful finishing powder. One that I don't have anymore that I love. I just didn't repurchase it because I have, I have some other finishing powders now. So that's why I didn't get it is the one from Makeup Forever, the translucent one. I love that one. I love it. It's beautiful. It's, it looks like it's white, but once you put it on, it doesn't look white, and it just looks so smooth and beautiful on my skin. I definitely would recommend it, but again, if you're dry skin, you don't have to. So when do you use a finishing powder? After all your makeup is done, and you don't have to use it all over your face. I would just concentrate on the area like I did. I did put it all over, to, but you don't have to. You can just put it like in this area. If you have like some texture right here by your cheeks, you can put that there on top of the cream and stuff. Yes, I still would be careful, but maybe concentrate on this area like right here. You can put it, you can put a little bit on your forehead or your chin. 
and it's just going to create a filtered look. It's going to really soften the look of your makeup. It's really, really pretty, but it's not something you have to do. So again, I just want you guys to understand this again. So to recap, setting powder sets your makeup, finishing powder is at the end and you can finish with it. You don't have to use either. I use powders because I have oily skin. Now this powder is what I'm wearing today and I decided to wear it all over, but I really like this powder. This is considered a setting powder, but it just kind of gets a little oily on me, okay? So I like to just use a little bit of it and it creates a pretty finish, but I can't use this all over when I do, it's just too much. And this is from Tatcha. This is the Silk Powder is what it's called. And this is considered a setting powder. But I just find that this, to me, is more of a finishing powder. It has a little bit of a shimmer in it, but don't freak out. I don't like shimmers either. It is so subtle that you would have to literally be in up in someone's face. And honey, nobody needs to be up in your face. Okay? But that is what you'd have to do to see it. I mean, it is so fine. Really, really pretty. It creates a filtered look. But on my face, because I have oily skin, I have to be careful with this because it can get oily, but really pretty. This is another powder that's really pretty. This is from Gucci. Don't judge this because I did get this wet and I shouldn't have done that. But this is their setting powder. It's really, really pretty. But you have to... The only way I can apply it was with a, was with a um, powder puff, the powder puff that it comes with. That's the only way it'll work for me. It's really, really pretty. Again, this one, it's a setting powder. It will create a beautiful, beautiful look on your face, but you have to use a, the powder puff, and that's the one thing I don't like about it, but it is a really nice one. This one is kind of like a cult favorite, I feel like. This is from Laura Mercier, and this is her translucent cult. Uh, translucent setting powder and one thing I want to tell you too about powders I try to go for the lightest color in a powder I am pretty fair because if you are using a colored um, if you use one that's a color you just have to keep in mind that it may slightly alter the look of your foundation and it could oxidize too so keep that in mind I like to go with the translucent or at least the lightest shade that I can for me, not lightest, lightest, but I go with the lighter shade. I usually am like a one or a two. So like Charlotte Tilbury, I'm wearing the Fair. Okay, just for reference. Again, then this one is in translucent. So that's what it looks like. It does, even though it's translucent, it's got a little, tiny bit of color. Okay, just a tiny bit. But this is a really, really nice powder. I do really like this one. I don't reach for it as much as my other ones, but it's a nice one. This is the old formula of Chanel. I still have it. I'm going to use this up, but I'm not going to order the new one because they changed the formula. So that's all I'm going to say about it, but it is a setting powder, and that was my favorite for a long time. This one is just for your under eye area. So if you like to set your under eyes, this is a really nice one. This is called the Magic Powder. You use a tiniest amount. I mean, this is a big container. You really don't need to have that much. I mean, seriously. It's really, really finely milled and nice. Now, the one that I've been using, I need to start using this one again so I can use it up. This is the one that I've been using under my eyes. That's the one I have today. I really like this one. I just use a tiniest amount under my eyes. You don't have to do it. I just like the way it looks. And for a long time, I did not do it under my eyes. I just thought it was too drying. But you have to get the right powder. But if you still feel like no matter what powder, then don't do it. Don't powder, don't use it, okay? This is my favorite current setting powder. This is from Givenchy. This is the uh, this is Powder Premier. And this is just their translucent setting powder. So this isn't the one that has all the colors. I tried one of those. I didn't get what the hype was on it. But this, this is a really, really nice one. This is the one that I usually use. It's very, very finely milled. I really, really like this powder. I feel like this controls my my oils longer than my other powders that I use. Okay, it's not. Uh, it's never going to be 100%, but I don't mind having a little bit of shine. I just don't want it to get like crazy greasy because I live here in Florida. I know I keep saying that, but I mean I live somewhere where it's really humid. So, and I have oily skin, so I have to use something. So, 
Again, another setting powder. I really like it. This one's actually considered a and it's weird because online it says it's a translucent finished powder, but I consider this one a setting powder. So I know can get, that's I think that's what gets confusing. I would never use this as a finishing powder. I feel like this is a nicer setting powder. And this is just something that I use. I don't use this all over, but I will use a little bit of this and it just gives a really pretty glow. And again, this is going to last me a long time because I, you're never going to use that much. This is the Glow Powder from Laura Mercier. I purchased this myself. This is the Translucent Loose Setting Powder in Glow. I don't like to use this. I mean, I have used it all over, but you have to be careful with it because you just have to be careful. You don't want to use too much of this. It's really, really, really pretty. It just... Here, I'll try to see if I can get it on... I don't know if you'll be able to see it at all. Yeah, you can't really tell, but it's so finely milled. It's really pretty. It gives a beautiful finish to the skin. I really like this one, but go, you know, don't go crazy with it. You gotta be easy with this one, but really, really pretty if you want that pretty glow. And like I said, I don't always use it all over. Sometimes I'll just use it like in this area here just to kind of soften that area up. So even though this says a setting powder, I just I consider this more of like a finishing powder. Even though something says it's a finishing powder, sometimes I think it's more of a setting and sometimes ones that say they're setting, I feel like they're more finishing powder. Do you know what I mean? Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye. Something else that I wanted to share with you guys about the powder. Now I feel like I'm having a menopausal moment. <laughs> that I was going to tell you. I swear I don't remember what I was going to say.